Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Dark Souls. This is your host, Aaron. Alright, as we left off, I have just got my fire sword. Which is actually uh, what I've been kind of working towards. Because it's really a toss up for me which one I like more, the fire or the lightning. Lightning is especially good if you're uh, facing other people. In my opinion, the best uh, PvP sword is... I actually have it. If I have it on me, I'm not sure though. Ah, the Shotel. Because it goes it goes around shields to do some damage. So if you get, and as I've said before, electricity goes around shields. So if you get an electric Shotel, that's going to do a lot of damage, even against an enemy that's hiding behind a shield. There's a little bit of a uh, trivia for you. Hope you out with your next playthrough. Now this place is pretty tough. There are a type of enemy here called the pinwheel. Oh, here comes one. Now this thing will eat through your shield really quickly if you let him. These guys should not be able to come back from any necromancers, so it's okay that I gave up the... Yeah, these guys completely crumbled into bones, so they're not coming back. But there is a lot of them is the big problem. Gotta take them out before they get a chance to attack me again. You can actually get their pinwheel as a shield. Get off me. Haha. Uh -huh. Yeah, the you just gotta be careful not run out here too quickly because there is a lot of them, and if they gang up on you, you will be in trouble. Hold on. Brightness. There we go. That should make it easier on for you all. I guess I don't really need to be like use the environment to like be scary or anything considering I've played this game so many times. There we go. Nope. You are done. You're done, son. Oh! Almost got a sneak attack on me. Alright. I am deeply excited for the next Oh, hey! You're not cool. Oh, crud. Oh, you're not cool. Go, get back here. I've never actually had the brightness up this high before. I normally have it normal so that everything's dark like it's supposed to be. Let's get this guy's attention so I don't have to deal with the exploding heads over there. This guy should be a great axeman. Here he comes. Yep, there he is. Yep, great axeman. I'm not going to bother using up my pyromancy on him because I'm going to need that for the boss fight that's just around the corner. Oh, crud. I just want to set that thing off just so it'll... You know, oh, hey, I didn't really... Interesting, that went around his shield and did a good amount of damage. Boom! Backstab for... Uh, gotta love the fire animation. I know I'm relying on backstabs, but that's not going to be it. Oh, crud. Oh! Wow, that actually should have knocked me up in the air. Oh, crud. Oh, hey, and I got his axe, too. Jeez, that explosion's big. Oh, no! 
Is that the last of them? Okay. Jeez. All right. So I've been thinking there, this game's been around long enough that if you need a specific piece of information in this game, it's easy to find it. So I'm going to not do as much of a walkthrough. I will explain things and I do recommend this game to anyone who likes difficult games. This is a serious challenging game. Not for the faint of heart and very challenging for those that rage easily. All right, now we're gonna meet our next enemy. Pinwheel. When we kill him, we will get access to one of those three masks. Now you gotta watch out, this guy likes to go and visit, likes to teleport. I know that's the real one. No point in wasting time on the others. Oh, and he's dead. Right of kindling. And we got the mask of the child. Oh, which one does that do? Each of the masks has a different ability. Okay, uh, stamina recovery. That's actually really useful. Okay, I'm gonna lower the brightness back down because this is really too much. There you go. If I feel like it needs to be raised back up, then I will. This next area will lose a lot of its effect if the screen's too bright. I suppose I could just do it in post. But, yeah. See, it's a lot darker here. <clears throat> and this is where you needed the item that you get from, you get the lantern from those, oh, what are they, oh, um, the necromancers because you cannot see, so you have to go in this blind. Now there are enemies here and, okay, as you can see right there, you can see the two eyes of a giant skeleton. Oh wow. Yeah, you gotta be careful this place. It's got very narrow ledges. And so it's easy to fall, get yourself knocked off. What do you think this is? Sparta? Ah! Cruddy got me. The, oh! By the way, these guys do have a lot of fire weakness, so you can take advantage of that. Alright. There's actually a useful item that we could go get here soon. Oh, crud, but I need to honestly get to the next, to the bonfire checkpoint before that's really a viable method. Oh, I'm actually kind of lost here. Um. Oh, that's a ledge. Oh, right. Follow the colorful dots. Now, now you don't have to fight him. Oh, crud. 
But you do have to watch out for those arrows. And watch out for this guy. Oh, crud. Have some fire. You're not a scarecrow, but it'll work. I think the other one fell off the ledge and I just didn't notice. Oh, crud. Ah, here's the next one. Ugh. Oh, patches. Not the nicest guy. But there is a bonfire right here. Now, there's two ways you can light, the, light up your travel through here. And I am going to show you both of them. But I'm going to... Uh, I'll go get the other one first. Or... Uh, uh, all right yeah we got plenty of time so daughter of chaos now that guy that was standing right there that you saw his name is patches and he is a jerk but what he if you listen to what he says you will get a lan in turn the game gives you a lantern one way or another or you can get a different form of lighting now, I don't know if this works yet. Nope, okay, I have to beat the boss. <clears throat> oh, I got a decent amount of souls. Now, there's a couple reasons why we're gonna make this backtrack all the way back here even though we've already been here. There's a couple, there's a couple useful things we can get. One is the alternate light source and two, is the thing that allowed me to upgrade my sword to a higher form of fire, to the second stage of fire. Very useful, very powerful. Now there's two tiers of fire you can go with a weapon. You can either go with the regular fire increase or you can turn into chaos fire, which is just like the fire ladies. Now the only problem is you have to fight these guys and that's really kind of annoying but it's something you have to do deal with if you want to do this. So I'm going to cut till after I've killed them all and then we uh, then we'll continue with getting what I need. Hey everybody, alrighty then. Got them dead. Now the two items we need are I think I need both of these. Let me see here. Whew. Ah, that's not what I thought it was. Okay, then. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that is some dangerous stuff right there. Yeah, you have to be careful with this lava, or it will kill you. And uh, there's no guarantee it won't kill me, but so long as I grab it and my remains aren't in the middle of the lava, I'll be fine. Now the easiest thing to do would be to aim for the shortest distance. I don't know if my fire defense ring will do much good against this, but... Okay, well, okay, I at least got the ember. That's what's important. That's what I really needed. That will allow me to turn my fire sword, once I get to plus five, into a chaos fire sword. Alright, now I will get us to the next spot we need to be, and you'll recognize it, so don't worry. Uh, so I'll be back in a minute. Alright guys, so let's go get that alternate option we have when it comes to lighting the, the Tomb of the Giants. 
Now, yeah, we are, we did backtrack, but I kind of did want to get this place opened up so I could show you guys this. I suppose I could have went and killed the boss, but you don't actually have to kill the boss to get the item. Oh, wow, he got a lucky shot. And he's dead. Oh, one more. One, two, three. I'm feeling since they're made out of stone, there is an item way over there, but for life me, I can't remember what it is. Oh, hey, buddy. Ah, I missed. Okay, dude, why don't you take a chill pill? Wow, come on now. We don't have to, okay then. This guy's being a bit of a jerk, not gonna lie. I'm gonna personally shove the cold metal of my sword so far up his rectum, I will be able to scratch his stomach with it. I'm sorry. Did that sound nice? No. Now, I can't remember what's over there, but I feel like it's something I need. But I don't know if I'm really prepared to get over there. Oh, well. Uh, I'll look and see. Oh, hey! Don't like you. Don't like your face. Don't like your politics. Those worms are really annoying because they're actually pretty strong. One, two, three. Three. All right. Now, this is the boss door. The enemy of, in here is similar to the Asylum Demon and the Asylum Demon's brother. In other words, not a very pleasant fellow. Oh, this is going to hurt. Yeah. I knew that was gonna hurt. All right, oh well. Now, in order to have access to this door, you have to have plus two in the uh, daughter, the Chaos Servant Covenant. No, not Chaos Servant. Um, is it Chaos Servant? Yeah, Chaos Servant. Why did I think it was something else? Now, killing all these things has two good values. One, if you are looking, if you remember our old buddy Knight Solaire, he is gonna have some run-ins with these creatures if you don't kill them. If you kill them before he gets here, then he won't be able to do anything. Then he will be fine, and you will actually have him as an NPC to help you during the final boss fight. And if you're doing this solo, you're gonna want him as a helper for the final boss fight. But that's one of the reasons why we're killing these things, but not the only one. The other reason is these guys drop the item we're gonna need, be needing. Oh! Ah, darn it. Well, I actually didn't know that creature was there, so lost out on that. Oh, here's the here's what we're, that's not what I'm looking for. These things drop sunlight metals. That's new. One, I think there's supposed to be eight bodies. Oh, there's the item. Two, three, and the item we're looking for. Um. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Yep, that appears to be it. Now, killing all of them uh, now will save Knight Solaire from being attacked by them, and so he will—he'll have access to him for the final boss fight. 
I think you might have to also access this next area for it to catch. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. But that means we will have to get past this guy. Our old friend, Mr. Happy. Oh, that's not a lot of damage. These things are affected by poison, right? Nope, not affected by poison, sadly. Oh, this is painful. Nope. Now this guy, okay, let's see if we can get him to do a little jump attack. There we go, get him in close. Not that close. Crud. Oh, crud. Yeah, I don't like this guy. And now I'm gonna have to, I'm probably gonna go ahead and call this an episode here and go retrieve my body. But, uh, thank you all for watching this episode of Dark Souls. This, getting that item, here, I'll show you what it looks like. Sunlight Mag. See, it produces a light source, which does light up the Tomb of the Giants. So, it's actually very useful because the lantern has to go in your shield hand. So, you essentially cannot block or defend yourself while you're carrying it around. You have to switch to your shield and then block and then be stuck in darkness. But at least with this, you can see what you're doing. So, thank you all for watching. Like, favorite, comment, share with your friends. I'm gonna try to get Skyrim figured out because of that whole glitch thing that happened. I'm probably just gonna have to give myself the books, which annoys me. But I, I don't see anything else I can do. So I hope you all have a good rest of your day. This is Aaron, signing out.